Okay so today we are going to cover an interesting fine-tuned model of stable diffusion. This model is called Anything V3. It's mostly trained on anim images. And high quality ones too at that. So here I have their hugging face page open. You can see what kind of images it generates. They have also provided the prompt, sampler and steps for each example. So what we will do is we will test their prompts first with our settings. Then we will adjust their prompts and put our own features. I found it works best as they have basically provided a prompt template. Like a guide on how to use their model. So if you want to use their model you can go to the files and versions page. And download this file called anything we 3 pruned which is a model checkpoint file. It's almost 4 gigabytes at this moment. So you download it and upload it in your Google Drive. And in the automatic 111 collab notebook here you include it in this path to checkpoint field. And then run the notebook it's fairly simple overall. Ok I have already opened up the stable diffusion web UI with the anything we 3 prune checkpoint file loaded. Ok so let's go ahead and try their sample prompts. I have set the sampling steps at 30. And am using the Euler sampler. And the width and height at 768 into 768 so that we get more detail. The default is actually 512 into 512. And finally the guidance or CFG scale I have set it to 7 which is the default. I feel it works best at this setting. So you can see the images from the sample prompts. You can see the features of the prompts are quite well reflected in the human characters. Like the hair color eye color cloud patterns the falling leaves and the background as well. So these kinds of characteristics are comma separated in the prompt. Take it as a template and add your features in between separated by commas. I'll show you an example here. Let's take the first prompt we used. And adjust the hair color to blonde. There you go. We can even adjust it for seasons. Like at the moment it currently has the words autumn and falling leaves in the prompt. Let's adjust it to winter and falling snow and see what we get. Looks great doesn't it? Let's try adjusting some physical features. Like adding horns. It's simple enough as adding the word horns to the prompt near the character attributes. And separate it with the comma and see what we get. There you go. Most of the characters in these models actually look similar. Like they have the same nose and mouth and similar eye patterns. Perhaps different emotions can change it. Let's do one thing and keep the same seed value. And add the word smiling to the prompt of course comma separated. See you can get consistent characters with different emotions with this model as well. Overall it's a pretty great anime model. Check out their hugging face page and try out their model. I'll leave the link in the description. And also it's best if you use the prompts as they have intended with the features comma separated. As it gives the best results. Ok so that's about it for now. Have a good day.